Hello everybody. Uh, today we're going to do a video on 3UZ drive-by wire pedals. So it's a uh, I've managed to get three pedals all in one go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through all the different types that you can get and the ones that work with the 3UZ. So at the moment we've got a 3UZ all wired up on an engine here. We've obviously got our throttle body on there. And so what I've done is I've put two diff I've put three different pedals on. So I've got this one from an IS250, which is the one that we normally supply if you guys don't have your pedals. We've got this one, which comes from a GS430 or an SC430, they're the same. Uh, but you get similar on the LS430, uh, just slightly different pedal. It's got like a long piece that comes down and bolts onto the floor, etc. Okay, but same principle. So you've got a potentiometer right here, which is actuated by an arm over there and so on. These are obviously all completely enclosed. And then I've got one here. This is actually from a Hilux, but I think you get them in a Land Cruiser. You can get them in Yaris's, Prius's, etc, etc. So they all just have sort of different pedal positions on these ones over there. Okay, so... These two that are completely enclosed are the ones that I prefer to run on 3UZs and I'm going to explain the exact reason why now. Um, but basically what it is, is this pedal works just fine. So I'm just going to show you the actual throttle moving. Okay, so you can see there. Okay, so they work just fine. This is the problem though. If you don't put a stop behind here, they can go too far. So if you go, 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 and then boom. So you can see I've got the pedal all the way down. Okay. And then what happens is the throttle shuts down and it won't work again until you hit, uh, until you recycle the actual ignition. So that's what I'm going to do now quickly. So recycle the ignition. Okay. Everything is on. Still got this pedal hooked up. Open, 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 open. There you go. Okay, you see, just go straight too far. Right, so I don't really like to use these for swaps because of that, because the problem is that you've basically got to, if you don't have tech stream available to you to actually see at the point at which it actually cuts out, you kind of have to just put a stopper and just keep adjusting it millimeter by millimeter until eventually you can do that. Plus you've also got to obviously slam your foot you know, right into the floor because you, the last time you want your throttle to shut down is when you obviously got your foot flat to the floor. All right, so that's the beauty of these ones. They're completely enclosed. They have a set form of travel. So you see if I open this all the way, it hits on a plastic stop there. It's got a built-in stop. So you can never get these to go out of sync and cause the throttle to shut down. So what I'm gonna basically do now is I'm gonna take the ignition off I'm just going to unplug the pedal for this one. Now I'm going to plug in the pedal for this one. It's a very long cable. All right, so now we've got that pedal in. I'm going to put the ignition back on. All right, so now. As you can hear, this is the pedal that's activating it. And you'll see, I can go all the way. Foot flat. And I can never cause this pedal to go out of sync. Or go too far in its range to cause an error. So, that's the reason why we normally recommend these. Obviously, these are newer. They're IS250, IS220Ds, IS350 in America. Um, they're just easy to get hold of. Uh, connectors are nice and small as well. So you can see that connector is really tiny when you compare it to this massive one over here. So that's the reason that we use those. You can also use these as well. So these just have the same connector that's on a 3UZ six speed throttle body. And it's quite a common connector. Subaru's user as well. It, it, you know, it's part of the Denso range. They use a lot of them. So if you're struggling, you've got your 2001 SC430, GS430, LS430, and you've done the swap and you fitted the original pedal and you're finding that you end up in the same situation that you've got the thing there. Two solutions. Number one, put a stop. Just try and adjust it as best as you possibly can to get it to work. Number two, get a newer style throttle pedal that is completely enclosed unit that obviously that problem then goes away. You then no longer have the throttle shutting down and she works exactly as she's supposed to so hopefully that's been helpful um I, oh just quickly i have there's 
I haven't tested every single pedal, but I've tested the Hilux one. I've tested the IS220, IS250, IS351. Um, obviously, these will work as a standard. But I, like I said, these pedals, you could probably find them in a lot of late Toyotas. Uh, Yaris's, Prius's, so on and so forth. I just haven't tested all of them, but I'm pretty sure that they will work. Um, but yeah, if you guys if you guys had the chance to test them, stick it in the comments below. Let people know what works, what doesn't. But for now, hopefully that's helpful because we get a lot of questions, or I've seen a lot of questions, at least people saying that they pedal when they open it fully, it shuts down. And that, that is the reason why. Um, so that, that, that's how it can be rectified. So thanks for watching, guys. And uh, we'll speak to you soon. Cheers. Bye-bye.